Hey guys, what's up? It's Tara. So, today's video is going to be kind of a self-help video, if you will. I'm going to be showing you guys how to pose for Instagram photos. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be like, what has the world come to? There are girls out here making videos and like how to pose for an Instagram pic, which, okay, whatever, you might feel that way, that's fine. But you know what? I've had so many friends taking photos with so many girls that like they dress up, they look cute, and then they get in front of the camera and they freeze and they feel really uncomfortable. They don't know what to do with their arms. They're super awkward. So this is for you. If you're like that, if you really want a cute photo but you just literally don't know how to move your limbs and you feel really awkward, I am going to help you guys. I'd rather teach people learn their angles than not take photos at all because I even have some friends that completely avoid the camera and run away when anybody wants to take a picture and I'm like, you're not going to have any memories. These are the five Instagram poses that are my go-tos that are super easy and cute that you guys can also do. So the first pose is just called the cute little over the shoulder. It's usually like a close-up photo of your face. Maybe you really like your makeup that day or your hair that day. And you don't really want a selfie. You want like a picture of your face of somebody else taking it of you. So here's a couple of examples of when I do like my cute little over the shoulder. It's super easy, super simple. All you do is turn to the side. It looks really natural and not really forced. So what you would do is you turn to the side look over your shoulder, kind of like flip your hair back, and what you do is you pull your shoulder up towards your face a little bit so it's like that, but you don't want your shoulder in the camera to cover your jawline or your chin. So you don't want to look like that because it just is like very clogged up. You want to kind of like show off like your jawline and make it look super cut. So you bring it to here, see how it's like up jaw, so you can still like feel like you have kind of a little bit of a neck instead of being like no neck you want to be elongated the good thing about it is if you don't like one side of your face or you feel like your face isn't that symmetrical just turn your body to your good side and then you literally just have like your good side in a photo you know what i mean anyway so that is pose number one super easy super cute simple natural and yeah pose number one the next pose is probably my favorite. I catch myself doing this pose a lot and I call it the one arm power stance. So here's some examples of the one arm power stance. I like this pose because it's a very like, hello, I'm here. How the fuck are you? Like, look at me. I do this whenever I really like my outfit and you're kind of just like, I am 100% that bitch, you know what I mean? So what you do is you stand with your feet like shoulder width apart, you put your either arm, whichever one you want, I always do my left arm, I don't know why. So you put your left arm on your hip and I kind of like push my shoulder forward, if you can see with my strap off, I just kind of go like that and it like pops out my shoulder bone and I think it's kind of like fashion, like mm, like. And this video is so ridiculous, but this is literally like what I do. So anyway, long neck. Sometimes the camera is like straight on or sometimes whoever's taking it, I ask them to like kind of squat down and take it from below. At this point, I, I can make anybody take a good picture of me. I promise you, give your fucking grandpa an iPhone and I can kind of like position him to take a good picture of me. I feel like I just know my angles now at this point and I know my go-to poses that I like, it doesn't matter if the person is good at taking a picture. Like I just, I can, I can do it for them kind of. Anyway, it's almost like the Superman pose. You know the Superman pose? You stand with your feet shoulder width apart. You put both hands on your hip and then they say if you do it for like 30 seconds, you just ex like exuberate. What is that called? Like ex you just put off like confidence. It's just a really confident pose. So whenever I'm like at a festival or I'm just in an outfit that I really like and I feel really confident and powerful, I'm just like, hello. You can angle your body to kind of be a little bit sideways or you can just do straight on. I do either one. I really like that pose. It's great. It's very powerful, very like confident vibes. I just like that pose. The next pose is quite famous actually. It's called the thought squat. Now here's some examples of me doing the thought squat. 
and this is very popular. It's also one of the mo more like made fun of poses, especially like with the term thought squat. And the reason I like this pose is because it's a really easy way of just getting your full outfit in the square without trying too hard and you can do it close up too. So basically all you do is take a knee. I usually will take a knee with my leg, my front leg, like facing the camera. And I don't ever typically do the thought squat with my back leg propped up because it's just like a direct shot of your vaheen. And I feel like whenever I see girls do that, like I just go straight to the crotch and it's super weird. So like I always put my other leg that's facing the camera in front of me because it can like show the details of whatever pants you're wearing or like of your leg. And it's just like more flattering, I think, instead of like direct like crotch shot. You know what I mean? Like that's kind of weird. So yeah, usually I just like try and like sit up really straight and kind of like put my shoulders back. It's just cute. It's a little thotty. You can pop your booty a little bit too to give you like a curve, but that's the thought squat. It's very popular. It's a really good shot of your outfit with detail and also um, is flattering because if you're a little, maybe if you're a little bit bloated that day or you're like kind of self-conscious of your midsection as well, if you thought squat, your leg kind of covers like your lower stomach or like your midriff. Um, so that's also a tip because you can pull your pants like over your stomach if you're kind of bloated and you look more slim, especially if you pop your butt out a little bit. So I think that's also why a lot of girls like it, but it's a very insta ho pose, but like, I think it's cute. You know, sometimes it's just necessary to be, um, an insta ho it just is it just happens don't make fun of it accept it the next one's kind of funny so this pose i like to call it's big huh so <laughs> like it's big huh you guys probably can tell what it's about so this is an ass shot basically when you want your butt to look fat when you want your booty to be popping this is the pose for you so i've only done this like twice so here's some examples of it's big huh so this is definitely like a butt shot like if you are like oh my butt looks really good in these pants or these shorts whatever in this dress here's what you're gonna do you kind of do the cute little over the shoulder, but you are obviously either standing fully to the side facing the camera or you have like kind of your back facing the camera and you turn around to look back at it, like look back at it, you know? So the first example I'll actually show you guys is, okay, this one of me at Coachella. So you're standing sideways to the camera, you're looking at it, and what you do is, the leg that's closest to the camera, you put all of your weight on it. All of your weight so that it kind of like pushes your butt like the, towards the camera and then because all of your weight's on this leg, it kind of makes a bigger crease like in your the bottom part of your butt so it gives the illusion of your butt being bigger. This is the like, it's big, huh, the sideways version. So if you want to do like the look back at it version, it's like you kind of just turn more so around. Like here's an example. And you just look over your shoulder. So it's like the cute little shoulder one. And you have whoever, oh yeah. And same with the like the first photo. You always have the person that's taking it get on their knee and take the photo from below you. So it's all about the angle. So you have to put all of your weight on one leg and then the person taking it has to take it from below you like your hip basically and this is just going to give the illusion of you having a bigger butt this one of me wearing the snake snake skin pants you kind of also can see like i'm pushing out like my back leg so it makes a crease in my pants which also just like gives the illusion of a, a bigger behind but that's it it's big huh um i don't have cleavage so like i always if i want to take like a kind of like raunchy pick or whatever um it's usually going to be like of my butt <laughs> so because i have a butt but i don't have boobs so that's kind of like what i would focus on so if you guys are like sexy ass bitch big ass no tits like that's for you anyway the last and final pose is again it's kind of back to your more innocent self it's more natural this is just called like the all natural hair touch you want to take a photo you look kind of cute that day you just don't know what to do with your arms or you like you feel really stiff in front of the camera just touch your hair literally just touch 
your hair. It looks super natural. It looks like it was windy outside or something like that. And you were kind of just like, oh, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It kind of looks like you were about to be doing something, but you weren't. So here's some examples of like the all natural hair touch. They're just super casual photos where like it's kind of an outfit pick but you just don't really know what to do with your hands so you just kind of like flip your hair or something like I usually go like this like I start to put my hair like behind my ear or like I just go like like this or like this or just like or I flip my hair or I'm just like or you can go like this like literally just fucking touch your hair and it looks like more natural and yeah, that's the all-natural hair touch. It's super simple and easy, honestly. You guys, I think I just talked about those so quickly. Um, that is my five go-to poses for Instagram photos. So I know some of you guys are going to watch this that maybe are not into Instagram, like thoughty pictures, and you guys are like, this is so stupid. But you know what? I don't care. And neither do the girls that take these photos because taking pictures like this where you feel like really cute and confident, like it makes you feel confident. Also, I really like looking back on photos of myself from a couple years ago and I'm so happy that I take photos and I can like see what I used to look like and I can see myself getting older and then you'll have pictures to look back on and just crazy to also take outfit photos and look at what you were wearing five years ago. like. I cannot fucking believe I was wearing that. So I'd rather take photos and learn my angles and learn how to look good and feel comfortable in front of a camera than run away and hide and hate every single picture that's been taken of me. So even if you don't wanna take outfit thoughty photos or like be a little Instagram girl, like taking outfit pics, still get in front of a mirror Learn some angles that you like, learn your good side, your bad side, some flattering poses that you can do. And I promise, like, even if you're taking group photos, you will become more confident in front of the camera. You just will. And it's something important to have because all throughout your life, say like your brother's graduation, your sister's wedding, you're going to have events that you're going to go to where people are going to be taking pictures. So just th these are some tips to just in general become like more comfortable in front of the camera. And I hope you guys enjoyed. So let me know if you guys liked this video. I know it's a little bit of a ridiculous topic, but also very relevant to the day and age that we are living in. So yeah, let me know if you guys liked this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll be sure to post more kind of like hack type videos if you want. And also follow me on Instagram. My at is Tara Zero Neal. You guys can go see all of the thoughty ass photos that I take on there. And um, yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Also, thank you guys again so much for 150K. Like I still am not over it. Okay, bye. Thank you